The Jefferson County Public Schools Board of Education has recently approved for all JCPS schools to stock epinephrine in the event of an anaphylactic allergic reaction. The approval was given in accordance with House Bill 172 that encourages all Kentucky schools to stock the medication. Since your school will now be stocking the medication, we are going to review the use of epinephrine and EpiPens as well as the protocol for administering the medication to students. What is epinephrine? It is a life-saving medication that is given to a person having an anaphylactic reaction. The most common form of epinephrine is by EpiPen which is an auto-injector that is administered to a person by injection. It is not harmful to the person and can potentially save his or her life in the event of a severe allergic reaction. Anaphylaxis is a severe, life-threatening allergic reaction. It can start out with mild symptoms and can become more severe and life-threatening within minutes. Anaphylaxis can be caused by an exposure to several different environmental triggers. The most common triggers include foods, such as peanuts, milk, eggs or wheat, stinging insects that include bees or wasps, and other medications. Anaphylaxis can occur at any time and first time allergic reactions are not uncommon in the school setting. Who can administer the epinephrine? Only those JCPS employees who have attended the Health Services Medication Administration training for the current school year are able to administer the stock epinephrine. School nurses and JCPS nurse practitioners can also administer the medication if needed. Who can receive the stock epinephrine? Any individual in the school building who meets the criteria for an anaphylactic reaction can and should receive the epinephrine when available. The stock epinephrine will not be available on field trips or after school activities. What about a student with a documented allergy? JCPS students that have a documented allergy need to have an asthma allergy primary care provider authorization form on file. This is also known as a PCP form. Students also should bring in their own personal EpiPen to be stored at the school and used only for that student. The student's personal EpiPen will also be taken on all field trips with that student and carried by trained staff. EpiPens for students with a documented reaction are administered as directed on the PCP form, which is usually at the time of the exposure to an allergen. Now we are going to review the new protocol for stock epinephrine that we have put into place. This protocol is to be used for any individual in a JCPS building that exhibits signs of an anaphylactic reaction. Epinephrine will be administered as long as a health services trained school staff member is present and the EpiPen is available. Epinephrine needs to be administered if a person is exhibiting any one of the following severe symptoms. These may include shortness of breath, wheezing, or repetitive cough. They may appear pale, blue, faint, have a weak pulse, or complain of dizziness. The person may complain of a tight throat, hoarseness, have difficulty breathing or swallowing. They may have significant swelling to the tongue and or lips. They may also have many hives over the body, widespread redness, may have repetitive vomiting or severe diarrhea. Also, they may appear anxious or confused and have the feeling that something bad is about to happen. Epinephrine would also be administered if two or more of the following symptoms are present. An itchy or runny nose, sneezing, itchy mouth, a few hives or a mild skin itch, mild nausea or discomfort. When the symptoms are present, here are the steps to take for EpiPen administration. First, have someone call 911. Let the operator know that anaphylaxis is suspected and that epinephrine is being administered. The second step is to determine the proper dose. You have two different types of EpiPens in your building. They are easy to tell apart due to different color packaging. Doses are separated by age and grade of the child. The doses for EpiPens are, for early childhood and kindergarten, junior EpiPen. Grades one and above, regular EpiPen. Step three is to remove the blue safety cap and inject the epinephrine immediately into the outside of the mid-thigh. This can be given through clothing, just make sure to avoid any seams or pockets. Press firmly and hold in place for three seconds. Make sure it is noted what time the epinephrine was given to the individual. Monitor airway and breathing. Remain with the person and reassure them as needed. Notify staff trained in CPR to be on standby. Step five. 
If no improvement or if symptoms worsen in five minutes, administer a second dose of epinephrine if available. Step six, document all events on the stock epinephrine response form. Give the used EpiPen to EMS when they arrive. Step seven, the individual must be transported to the hospital for evaluation and monitoring. A delayed or secondary reaction can occur up to several hours later. Students may not return to school for the remainder of the day. Please also make sure to notify other important parties, such as parent or guardian, building administration, security, and JCPS Health Services. Thank you for watching our training update. For any additional questions, please contact JCPS Health Services at 485-3387.